Welcome to this week's market drama. We'll start here with the S&P 500, which was up roughly 2%. I say roughly because the markets hasn't closed just yet here as I record on Friday. Now that's in the back of being down 4.5% last week. So it's a relief rally regarding all the you know headlines that we've seen come across the tape regarding the banking sector. The bond market has also been very volatile. For instance, the two-year treasury yield uh, drop significantly. It's one of the biggest moves in intro week that we have seen in over a decade. And that's in the back of new uncertainty regarding if the Fed may change its timing campaign a bit sooner uh, than expected, uh, taking into account the recent turbulence in the banking sector. Now, in fact, if you look at the bond move index, which, which looks at bond volatility, it hit a, a over five-year high. And that five-year period includes when COVID hit, right? So clearly there's a lot to digest here. Uh, when it comes to economic data, we saw uh, CPI data hit for February. When we look at the core year-over-year -year growth, it was 5.5%, which was right on the nose. That's what the market expected. Overall inflation was 6% uh, year-over-year. Now, even though it was uh, the numbers hit as expected, it is a reminder that the, the Fed is going to be now in a very tough place, right? Trying to decide if it's going to lower interest rates to adjust for the banking sector's woes, or if it should stay focused on inflation, because 6% is not anywhere near as 2 to 3% uh, target. Outside of CPI data, we did see leading economic um, index, the LEI index, uh, fall for its 11th straight month, right? Consumer sentiment for this month also surprised on the downside. So all in all, the data is not very bullish and it's accompanied obviously with what's happening in the banking sector uh, when it comes to the repercussions of the Silicon Valley ba uh, Bank uh, collapse. By the way, if you want a lot more information on that, we did a whole webinar on it that's recorded. You could check it on our website. If you can't find it, just email us at concierge at SoeFin. We'll send you the, the recording. What's in stage for next week? Uh, we have a big Wednesday when the Fed will announce if they are going to hike interest rates 25 basis points, 50 basis points, or not hiking interest rates at all. Now, they were telling us as of Tuesday of last week that they were going to hike uh, and that you should expect more, but that was right before Silicon Valley Bank collapsed, right? So it'll be a really interesting uh, meeting as the Fed will kind of tell us where their head's at, if this kind of scare them enough to not hike interest rates going forward or if they're gonna stay focused on inflation, which remains at 6% year over year. That's it for this week. Stay tuned for next week. Take care.